In the last 18 months, I think people have begun to wake up to the full extent of accelerating climate change. Um, there's no debate about the fact it's happening. Now the debate is how bad is it going to be? And what do we need to do to stop it getting even worse? And that debate is now fully engaged in every country in the world. Some of the latest projections from the scientific advisors advising governments are pretty grim. They don't make for easy reading. We're going to see a lot of dislocation, a lot of damage done to people's lives, rising sea levels, extreme weather, firestorms, the lot. I mean, it's not a pretty picture, and we can't stop some of that. It's too late. But what we can do is to stop that all getting worse and worse, to stop what they call runaway climate change. Not only do we have to have that discussion now, we have to work out plans of action to be delivered in the next 10 to 15 years. That's the scale of the challenge. I think everybody's just waking up to the reality of what zero carbon for the built environment looks like. Because we've talked about, for many, many years, but we've never really properly, the industry has never properly got hold of the challenge of what it would be to have a zero carbon built environment in an advanced industrial economy like the UK. Passive House is a standard which has uh, got two key aspects at its heart. One of it is about building really robust low energy buildings and the other part is creating really comfortable indoor environments. Passive House has to be part of the solution. This is the only way that we're going to be able to get our energy consumption down to what we need it to be. And seeing something like this is a really positive and heartwarming um, example of showing that it really can be done. The great thing about a Passive House school is efficiency. Efficiency in the use of materials, in the use of energy, efficiency in construction techniques. So the reason why Passive House is so brilliant is it is without a doubt the most demanding, rigorous way of delivering energy efficient buildings anywhere in the world today. In terms of building for the future, I think Passive House is really key because it addresses the performance gap between what people thought they were designing and getting, but in reality they were finding buildings weren't achieving the energy performance that was supposedly being designed to. Passive House through the kind of rigour and quality control through construction means that you, you eliminate that performance gap and what you design is what you get at the end in terms of operational energy use. And we've seen that through the various primary schools that we've completed today to monitored after use, that they are performing as expected, which is great because it means vastly lower energy bills for schools. Early on in the project, we went to visit another Passive House school and what struck me that early on was the, the nature of the materials used, the ambience of the school. And actually that began to influence my thinking of how we develop as a, as a school community and the policies we have in place. During the build phase, we really focused on um, what I think was a unique opportunity, which was designing a school from the ground up, which at its heart had sustainability. I think there's a real myth around the cost of a passive house building. Obviously there are specialist components that you need to um, deliver a passive house, but that is offset by generally a simplified design, so you have less building envelope which therefore costs less, simplified building services, so things like the boilers where previously you might have expected a very big commercial boiler, you can heat a building of this scale with a very small boiler and maybe one backup. So where you have extra costs, you also have reduced costs. It's hugely inspiring to see a company such as Wilmot Dixon really go for it. They, they really got that this was about process and quality and ensuring that they got it right every single time. The Sutton have delivered a school which is, has at its heart and within the very fabric of its, of its building. Uh, you know, the, the values of sustainability and a focus on the environment. And I think what we look to do uh, as a school, Harris Academy Sutton here, is then to take that message to the students and obviously the students are the next generation of the borough's inhabitants and then they will, will grow and develop that uh, over the generations to come.